Day on 7 tonight, a history lesson on slavery gets a failing grade from parents. 7 investigator Simon Shakehead found out why they're upset over what happened in this Rochester Hills classroom. What was supposed to be a history lesson about slavery now has a parent at this elementary school outraged. She says both students and even the teacher treated it like a joke. My thing is, okay, so what's next? Is she going to bring in a gas chamber? Is she going to recreate the Holocaust? I mean, what's really going on? Fed up and furious, Jacqueline Knight Oliver still stunned over what her daughter says unfolded inside a fifth grade classroom. Having them to lay down on the floor to show how uncomfortable it was on the slavery ships, I just think was a bit much. Only it didn't stop there. Jacqueline says her daughter, one of four African-American students in a predominantly white class here at Meadowbrook Elementary, had to listen to jokes about slavery, jokes the teacher allegedly took part in along with other students. I guess the way she had them on the, on the floor laying down, you know, she didn't think it was a laughing matter. Other parents are now calling out the school as well after learning of the alleged incident Tuesday afternoon. Explain to them what it is and what they're going through, like in a proper way so students realize the seriousness of it. We tried reaching the head of Rochester Community Schools by phone to request an on-camera interview, but he declined to talk. Instead, he issued a statement that reads partially, I sincerely and wholeheartedly apologize for any pain the incident may have caused. At Rochester Community Schools, we are committed to providing a warm, caring, and supportive environment where all members feel safe, valued and respected. We take this respect code very seriously. I want to assure our community that this situation will be thoroughly investigated and corrective action will be taken as appropriate. For this mother, it's little comfort after what she calls racist jokes that have no place in school. As a teacher and as, as an adult, I would think, you know, you would have stepped in and said, hey, this is not a joking matter, but for her to, you know, laugh with them, I was a bit taken back by that. Miss Knight Oliver does not want that teacher losing her job over all of this. Instead, she says the most important thing is making sure this never happens again. From Rochester Hills, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.